Now I'm going to do the 0 to 60 test, imprecise, but I tried to pick a road that's a dead end. And here we go, I'll just call out go, and then I'll call out stop when I'm done. Ready, set, go. There's the burnout. Exhilarating, <laughs> and I have it in low on purpose, um, you know, the regen mode. So I'm going to go up here a little bit and I'm going to test the regen, you know, stopping distance from at least 20 miles an hour because uh, I noticed that like 40 it doesn't really uh, slow you down that drastically, but once you get down to 25 or 20, it, it does. So I'm going to go near the end of the road here. There's a little bend up here, which might show the handling. I have a hunch that the uh, tires, you know, they they went for the low rolling resistance, not really for the uh, traction or handling or grabbing. Uh, but you know, that's okay. I'm sure most people want to um, get efficiency out of this car, not necessarily uh, high performance. But here we are, just carefully going around these curves. And comes up to a narrow area up here. This is Glen Annie Road. And the stop sign. That's where it gets narrow. And we'll go here to the end and do the regen test. Citrus Groves back here. I'm going to do a lot of biking on this road, so I'm going to pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to, I brought my little measuring tape and I'm going to do a, uh, a regen test. Let me just get to this kind of flat spot at the end here. I'm going to try 20 uh, miles per hour. That should be a good test. There's a flat spot up here. So, yeah, I'm just going to go 25 and then measure. I'm going to go to that uh, pole, I think, that uh, telephone pole right there, try to maintain 20, and off. Okay, it's a dead stop. Now I'm going to, let's see, mark the spot here. Um, there's the pole. I'll just go by that and pull off to the side here and keep my eye on that pole near the end of the car. Put it in park and get my measuring tape here. One of those rolling measuring tapes. And let me reset it. And just walk this out. This is from 20 miles an hour. Bumps. I'm going to these telephone poles. That's 78 and a half feet, so I don't know. 78 and a half feet from 20 miles an hour. That's what it looks like, just an eyeball. And uh, from 20 miles an hour, the regen stopping happens there. So you get used to it, it's play it by ear, and uh, it's kind of fun to uh, see how close you can get to the stop line at a stop sign or stoplight. And that's it for the regen test. Thanks. One more thing I wanted to comment on, I'm trying to look down a little bit here at the uh, guesso meter. I read in the manual that uh, that 175 miles, you know, range left on the battery um, is based on the last several days. And say how many days, how many miles, or anything like that, just the last several days. Uh, I don't think there's a way to reset it, but maybe there is, if you know, uh, send in the comments. And I don't think there's a percentage state of charge like there is on the Nissan LEAF. Um, I think that would be nice. Uh, it's just an alternative. I'm sure they could add that if they wanted to. Um, 
that's the last comment. Thank you.